Welcome to Friday, and this is the TGIF edition of Sport Rush with MC Ramsey live and direct from the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Nigeria. How was it yesterday? Oh my God, La Liga returned yesterday, and uh, so beautiful. The EPL will be returning today, and we will have it uh, so sweet. You know why? Because Manchester United is going to be uh, playing today, and I've got a Mayo fan right here, and he's going to be talking to us today. How good is Manchester United? <laughs> All right. He's going to say Manchester United is good, of course. I know they are good, but then this EPL and this is the competition. My name is MC Ramsey with Jesse, number 10. And of course, joining me on sports today is Michael with Jesse, number 7. Hi, Michael. Jesse, number 7. Hi, hey, it's going to be a thing this Friday. Doing? Doing? Friday. I'm feeling sporty today because, uh, you know, sport is something that keeps you uh, energetic and looking, uh, feeling like a baby. So I'm ready for Fulham. Uh, yeah, we're ready for Fulham today also. So 8, 8.45 p.m. kickoff, Manchester United against Fulham. You know what but then, um, looking at Manchester United so far, um, mm. the, the transfer window mm. uh, is come and gone. Uh, even though there are still some minor, minor transfers mm -hmm. still going on, Osimhen is still hanging, and um, hopefully he's going to be going to Chelsea. But now we are not talking about that. Let's quickly talk about what's happening in Manchester United so yeah. far. So good. Mm. What do you think about uh, Manchester United uh, looking at uh, the formation that will be uh, going down with uh, Fulham today? 8.45 is the time. And of course, uh, we will also look at the La Liga yesterday. The match has been played and Cristiano's was so fantastic in that mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. But then before we go talk about the La Liga, well, let's talk about the La Liga before we talk about Manchester United because La Liga was just, yesterday just and yeah. of course uh, mm -hmm. Manchester United today. So let's begin from yesterday. The result of the games that we had played yesterday. How do you think about it? 1-1 was how those uh, matches actually ended. But then, what would you have to say about that? Especially Cristiano's out. He's not playing for the Super Eagles, remember? But then, yesterday he was fantastic and behind closed doors uh, uh someone says something they say scoring one goal and you want him to be called what about uh his past performances so just talk about the game that was played yesterday from the la liga yesterday was the day one of the la liga games mm, i think um uchi chris and Tuf, well from away to la liga and scoring a goal well that opens a good and a splendid chapter of his footballing career from away to Spain, and it's already opening that. Uh, we're right to the world. Yeah, we're to the world. Yeah, that, that's that's southeast to the world. He's there, so proud that that's <laughs> where he comes from. <laughs> no, no well, from the know, east. As far as you, you're enjoying, you're doing well. We're proud of you. We're you're proud of where you're from. But from the east, yeah, I'm proud of you. Uh, Chris Santos <laughs> Uche, I remember he rescued Getafe from losing to Athletic Club. Uh, Athletic Bilbao were fantastic. You remember, uh, this guy just came back from his. He's prolific uh, at the Euros, talking about the forward that was supposed to move, the young player that was supposed to move, talking about the guy with dreadlocks from Spain. Uh, what's his name again? I'm trying to remember his name right now. But then he he was not actually, uh, defenders were actually very much on him because uh, uh, knowing that knowing that he is a very quick player with quick reflexes, but then 1-1, uh, he ended it was good. La Liga started in a very energetic mood. I particularly want to see how Kylian Mbappe uh, does with his first match in, in a Madrid in, shirt in, in La Madrid. Liga. Already he started with goal scoring. Uh, the Super Cup that held, uh, the, the, he was he was he was the, the the man of the match because he was everywhere. Kylian Mbappe for me was my man of the match because he was everywhere. He was a fantastic debut for Kylian Mbappe. Well, let's see what he has. Uh, for us in La Liga, I remember the likes of Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldinho, Messi, and they've also played. They've also uh, made their mark and left their record in La Liga. Mbappe is the next, I've, uh, arguably the world best right now. If you talk about uh, although after the Ballon d'Or is uh, is is being given right now. Let's say to Vini or Jude Bellingham, Mbappe should be the next. So La Liga is going to be interesting because. That three in Madrid is very, very fearful. All right. And also, shout out to Uche Chris Santos for opening his debut in La Liga. All right. Congratulations to Uche Chris Santos for opening the game for his club. And of course, uh, we will also look at some other beautiful matches that will be going down in the fixtures. And that's going to be after now when I will be bringing you to speed with the fixtures uh, for the weekend. And of course, uh, let's get started with the match that will be going down today from the Premier League. A lot of people have actually waited for what will happen in the Premier League. And of course, uh, the signings are still 
ongoing, yeah. but some clubs have gotten some signings uh, already. But then before we talk about the signing, let's quickly talk about uh, the match that will be going down today. And that's the match uh, between, of course, uh, Manchester United and <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't look at um, their opponent for today as um, yeah, an arc rival like yeah. Manchester City. If it is Manchester City, I will say they will be playing with their arc rival if it was Chelsea. But then it's still going to be a competitive game because we're talking about the Premier League, right? Yeah, so let's talk about the match. The game uh, going down today, Manchester United, it's your club. Unfortunately, Manchester United is his club and he's playing number seven for <laughs> Manchester uh, United, wherever he is. He's, play he's playing from Nigeria, even though Manchester United is based in England. So what are we expecting today from Manchester United? Uh, the match is going to be uh, really contested because the last time he came to Old Trafford, Fulham, uh, they snatched a late winner from Nigerian uh, Nigerian uh, <laughs> I'm looking about Alessi Wobi that late winner was you know Calvin Bassi and Alessi Wobi broke the hearts of Manchester United fans remember it was two Nigerians running riot against Manchester United the last time they came to Old Trafford today is also at, at Old Trafford 8pm uh, BTS time uh, we are ready our formation you know it's uh, of course you know we have an interesting formation but don't you know the, the injury to Lenny Yoro Rasmus Holland Luke Shaw joining the list Tyre Malaysia has not done us good, but but then we have Tengo, we have backups and in the place of um, Nuzel, Mazrawi coming in, Matisse Delete, our latest signing. Let's see how that uh, defense will be. It's gonna be intractable because I'm seeing a formation starting from um four two 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 formation against City. That's what Manchester United are playing. W w I want to say a diamond formation that plays 4 2 3 instead of 4 2 2. Uh, 4 2 2 played really well against Manchester City. If our coach maintains that formation, is is going to be splendid. Yeah, he's doing 4 2 2 3 for today, right? Uh, hopefully, but then he played 4 2 2 2 formation against Manchester against City. Against Manchester City. You know, the, for any formation against a Manchester City, yeah. it should be a formidable formation yeah, yeah, yeah. because um, uh, uh, fluid, Manchester yeah. City is um, one major competitor and yeah, yeah, arch yeah. rival of Manchester United. Yeah. But then we're looking at Fulham mm. today. Uh, do you foresee the same formation against Fulham today at 45 p.m.? Fulham have a fully fit squad as reported by uh, the manager Marco Silva. For today, they are ready for Manchester United. They have a fully fu um, um, uh, uh, fit squad. And mind you, we don't, we don't, which we don't, player should we be looking out for today a, for Manchester United? Uh, we're looking out for Zexi uh, making his the debut. Signing. Yeah, Joshua Zexi. And Rashford has not impressed because during the preseason he wasn't really there. He was resting. But then he also played preseason. But then he didn't. So really, are you trying to well. say we're against, looking for against, to against Zexi and, and and Rashford? No, 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 not Rashford. Zexi for me, yes. Also, Amadola was prolific. Prolific during our preseason. I'm all, I also want to see what will happen between um, uh, Jadon Sancho and uh, between uh, also our guy that's called uh, against Manchester City, Alejandro Garnacho. Prolific for me. He started the season on in fire. I want to see what um, Garnacho and Ahmad does on the wings. I, I want to see Rashford start in the bench. No, no, no. He wasted a lot of chances against Manchester City. We would have won that game, but he wasted two okay, chances. Okay, let's just, uh, let's um, not just talk about uh, Manchester United alone. Let's also talk about other clubs too. Absolutely. And talking about other clubs, uh, Fulham will be holding it down today. And you should also know that Fulham, uh, Fulham is not coming to play. Yeah. They're actually coming to get uh, the three points too. But then, at the end of the day, we will see how all of that is actually going to go. Let's quickly look at um, uh, some of the fixtures that will be going down uh, from the La Liga today. From the La Liga, we'll have uh, Celta Vigo uh, taking on, on uh, Alaves, and that's going to be uh, 6 p.m. Then from there, we also have Las Palmas uh, taking on Sevilla, and of course, uh, uh, Sevilla will be playing away to uh, Las Palmas today, 8.30 p.m. is when that game is actually going to be going down. And then from there, let's quickly look at the games that will be played tomorrow. I'm actually bringing you to speed with the fixtures that um, we have for the weekend before we actually call it a wrap on Sport Rush today. But then uh, uh, let's look at this uh, quickly and uh, well it's uh, a game that one should actually uh, talk about from the play Premier League. We have uh, Ipsy uh, taking on Liverpool. Liverpool That's a tomorrow. game to actually uh, yeah. uh, uh, watch out for that tomorrow 12.30. Then yeah. of course uh, Arsenal. Well Arsenal have been very 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 optimistic. Uh, we had an Arsenal fan on the show here who has spoken that um, Arsenal is actually uh, in the room bathing room and we expect what they will be coming up with uh, this season. Tomorrow they will be playing 3pm with um, uh, Wolves uh, and of course uh, Everton and Britain. That's going to be 3pm too. Then Newcastle will be taking on South 
important in same time. Same time. Uh, West Ham and uh, uh, Stone Villa does the match uh, for the day tomorrow. It's going to be uh, uh, five thirty p.m. tomorrow, and of course, uh, we are looking forward to how that game is actually going to be. West Ham and uh, Aston Villa, and of course, uh, it's going to be a very wonderful time. Uh, other games will actually also be going down, but then uh, we are bringing you fixtures from the Premier League today. And don't forget that Sunday is also going to be a very fantastic time very, as uh, uh, Nottingham Forest uh, would also be taking on uh, Bournemouth, and that game is going to be three p.m. But uh, any change that come on, uh, we will let you know as you stay uh, grip to uh, the channel Obeleke TV on YouTube. And of course, we'll be bringing you to speed with updates coming from the result of the matches as they are going down. So all you just have to do is to stay on the channel. Thank you very much, Michael, Not for coming game. around. Not Forest game and Bonnie is tomorrow, but then the cracker of Sunday is Manchester City against Chelsea. Remember, uh, Enzo Maresca, your coach, testing himself against the coach he considers to be the best. Chelsea will be beaten, and on Sunday, you will call me and buy me fish. Well, uh, well, uh, that's a Manchester United fan talking. All Chelsea fans out there, you should take note of that. And this is what we'll do on the show. Uh, if you are a sport-loving fan and you want to rep your club, you can also reach out to us on the YouTube channel. We'll bring you up just the way we brought up uh, Michael today with Jesse number uh, seven for Manchester United. If you are from Chelsea, if you are from Real Madrid, if you are from Manchester City, any club you are finding at all and you want to rep your club, you can always come on your show, especially when you are on the table and when you're doing well and you know your onions and how your club is faring. This is uh, the end of the Spot Rush for today, Friday, and of course we'll come on your way again and that's going to be on Monday when we bring you to speed with the result of the matches that will be going down over the weekend, the fixture, the action, the reactions, the entertainment, the intrigue and the suspense. Uh, thank you very much for keeping it dead with us on Spot Rush today. My name is MC Ramsey with Jesse number 10. Bye-bye for now and have a wonderful weekend. No fight, man. Go to the view in centers if you can watch at home because uh, it's more fun when you're not watching alone for some persons okay we'll get to hear more from you at the youtube uh, uh, comment session with tv my name is once again mc ramsey bye bye for now